That's okay, fine. and introduce yourself and please tell us why you should be the teacher of the year. <laughs> <laughs> well, my name is Michelle Vale, and um, when I received the invitation to speak here today, I was asked to tell you who I am, and it reminded me of a counseling strategies course I took where the professor had asked us to um, tell who we were, and everybody answered by telling about their roles. But he told us that who we are is how we feel when we're engaged in the activities that we love to do. So by that standard, I'm compassionate, committed, generous, conscientious, gentle, playful, confident, loyal, loving, nurturing, funny, and intuitive. <laughs> And in my role as a special educator at the Dorset School, who I am translates into the, the tasks that I have to complete for my job. I have to wear many hats as a special educator. <laughs> I have to do assessments. I have to evaluate test data, design individualized programs, modify curriculum, supervise, pair educators, write reports and IEPs. But the hat that I enjoy most is the one I put on to provide direct instruction to the students with whom I work. Um, I have to teach academic, interpersonal, behavioral, social study skills, and I have to teach strategies to help my students compensate for their learning weaknesses. I also teach them to identify their learning needs, and I teach them how they learn best so that they can advocate for themselves and that they can become independent learners. I started to develop my philosophy of teaching when I got a phone call from my brother one evening when I was in my college dorm. And he called me to talk to me about his baseball coach and his game that day. And he said that the coach had yelled and screamed and belittled students while they were on the field if they made errors. And he said that happened to him that day. And he just decided he had had enough and he put his hat down on the field and he walked off. That was the day I started to develop my teaching philosophy. And it made me realize that this teacher, who happened to be my seventh and eighth grade teacher, he, he taught through embarrassment. That was his classroom management strategy. And he, I remember he even threw chalk and erasers at kids. And I realized that he was the antithesis of what a teacher should be. And so as a teacher, I believe that all students want to succeed and that they do so in an environment where they feel safe to take risks, where, they're, where there's honesty and respect, and that's fostered. I think that our teachers need to have high expectations for students, that we must individualize our teaching to suit the needs of all learners, and that we must constantly reflect on our teaching approaches based on how our students perform. I think as teachers, we're really entrusted with an important job. We ready the next leaders, scientists, writers, those people who are going to be the ones to make decisions in our society. And I often think, why is the public's perception of us so negative sometimes? So when I was asked what my message would be if I were to represent Vermont in the teaching profession, I would advocate that it's time for teachers to take control of society's perception. And that to change society's perception, I believe we have to have an open door policy. We have to invite, invite, invite our colleagues, administrators, and parents into our classrooms so we can share our gifts. We have to show off our awards, our achievements, our students' successes. And we have to get more information out to the community about what we do. We have to be self-promoters. We have to brag. So I'm going to be the first. I teach. I give hope. I change lives. Henry Brooks Adams wrote that teachers affect eternity. No one can tell where their influence stops. And we're in control of our own destinies, and we have to proceed accordingly. Thank you.